From Kumu Media's Engineering News, I'm Megan from Langhor. Today in studio, we are joined by Mr. Barlow Manilal, the new CEO of the Technology Innovation Agency. Welcome, Barlow, and congratulations on your new position as CEO. Thank you very much. Barlow, you stated that you have a five-year plan for the agency. Mm -hmm. What does mm -hmm. this entail? Okay. My five-year plan for TI is firstly, I think, f uh, I think it's well known that TI has come through um, quite an intense uh, organizational redesign process. Um, it's also had regional offices and some of them have been closed, etc. So I think for the next six months is to firstly ensure that we focus on the hearts and minds of our staff uh, to ensure that we can, we can deal with the anxiety there, you know, get the settlement uh, right, get people uh, into their positions and bring about stability uh, firstly for the people. So it's important that we do that. From six to 18 months, I think it is critically evaluate all our systems, all our processes, uh, where we have got systems, make sure that they're operating optimally. Where they aren't, we need to enhance them. Where they're absent, we need to bring in new systems and processes. But it's about efficiencies, service delivery, uh, and bringing about a culture of excellence uh, to the organization. 36 months, uh, oh, sorry, 18 to 36 months, it is to ensure that all the new systems and processes that we put in place and, and, and the people start operating optimally. Uh, and thereafter, it's a process of ensuring that we position TIA well, we can provide value to our stakeholders, uh, and have a continuous improvement philosophy. And there's a lot of detail behind the statements that I'm, I'm mentioning to you now. What are you going to change in terms mm. of how the TIA function? Well, f important for me is uh, TIA provides financial and non-financial uh, support to entrepreneurs, to the science community, uh, and it's important that we can react and provide value in an efficient manner, in in a diligent manner, and I think, uh, you know, in in a way that it is there's robust governance processes as well, because that's been areas of concern from the ministerial review, etc. So it is to say, how do we find a balance between efficient, effective delivery, with compliance and governance, uh, and and that will be key themes that I'll be focusing on as well. With you in charge, what uh, what will the priorities of the agency be? The priorities of the agency are a number. There's internal priorities and there's external priorities. I think internal priorities are mentioned. It is bringing about consistency. It's about looking at our processes, bringing efficiencies. Um, you know, for me, it would be looking at how we can take TIA to a point where it's a, it's an employer of choice where it can be considered one of the best companies in the, in, in the, in the country, where it can be a leading DFI type entity in, in the country, but also where we can provide efficient um, means, mechanisms to support uh, entrepreneurs, science councils, and other people or other entities that require our services, but to also look at how we can enhance that and evolve as a company because you know, TIA needs to evolve. The, the world is moving at a rapid pace. And uh, the, the people that we serve also are pushing the innovation and technical and technology boundaries. So as an entity, we can't be lagging behind as well. So we need to constantly evolve and to demonstrate that we can keep abreast to the people that we serve as well. At the AIDC, where mm. you have come from, mm. you weren't shy of big programs. Mm -hmm. What's your plans in terms mm -hmm. of that for the yeah. TIA? Yeah. In fact, at the ARDC, I quite enjoyed the big projects as well. And uh, I think it's important for me. I have no illusions uh, and fear around uh, where South Africa fits. I think you know we've demonstrated that South Africa has the ability, the talent, and the potential to be a world leader. I think we have our own inhibitions that we need to deal with. But for me, within TI, it's to create an environment where we, we are as innovative and as creative as the people that we serve and support as well. So it is about creating a culture where we can encourage and enhance these novel ideas, the novel approach, and ensure that we can respond. I think TI itself internally needs to ensure that it can be innovative and creative. We also operate in a, in a, in a risk environment. Uh, you know, we do deploy uh, government funds. But the idea for us is to look at how we can 
uh, you know, we can do this efficiently without discouraging people from, from, from pushing the boundaries of technological you know, innovation. We need to also, I think, as a country, figure out ways where we can fail cheaply, where we can fail efficiently, and we can fail where there isn't a catastrophic uh, you know, aftermath left, where there's no option for recovery. And that's a part of the innovation evolution that we have to go through, and TIA has a role to play in that as well. So why is innovation so important to South Africa? Now, uh, TIA does innovation because we're looking for socioeconomic outcomes and job creation. But I think if you look at, any, if, if you want to intercept um, and play a role in the economic trajectory of this country, um, you cannot uh, eliminate innovation because innovation, and especially with TIA, we move we take innovation to a commercialization process. Commercialization process means creating startup companies. Startup companies are SMMEs. SMMEs contribute to the economy. And I think we all know that the greater job creation, stimulating the economy is not going to come from the big blue chip companies. It's going to come from the smaller entrepreneurs, uh, from those startup companies. So for me, it is to look at how we can convert as many ideas, as many innovations into the commercial value chain, but also to make them into small businesses to, so to, and, and to make sure that they're sustainable as well. I think once we have that process refined and mature, we will have more startup, coming, startup, uh, startup companies, um, and that will have a significant contribution to the economy in the country. Thank you, Barlow. That was TIA CEO Barlow Manilal.